look at these huge ones and then boom as you see up to pop up to 30 cents and a lot of time people are asking me are they real uh bid and asks that they're real so because you know when you, we are having the time and sales they see that these ones are actually going through the time and sales here i'm actually bringing showing it to you the time and sales look at the time stamp 1009 so you know this is these are the things that 50 50 10 50 or 4 these are really big orders that have gone through this year quantity like 50,000 500,000 shares at 50 you see that this is a 500,000 shares at 50 that uh as you see it's gonna happen hello my name is andrew aziz the author of how to day trade for a living welcome to my channel All right, guys, election day market is rallying significantly right now. SPY is 1.1%. I don't know why, but, uh, you know, we are very close to back to all time high. Let's see what the markets uh, uh, on the queues are doing. Indexes also, as you see, all time high of uh, queues are near 501. We you know we came out of this uh, bottom rallying up seems that the market is uh, rallying up uh, but trading wise it was super amazing we had an amazing trading on PLTR and Tesla that turned out to be a very profitable very classic trading on PLTR because it's one of the A plus setups with the earning and Tesla of course turned out to be a super super nice trade and I want to review both of them as a matter of fact I have some recording for PLTR as well so seeing a big ask you know as you know we discussed that that seeing big ask could be a really good signal for uh, momentum breakouts that I actually could record some of it and I'd like to actually discuss that with you guys so let's um let's go through pltr sorry about that so pltr had the earning you know the stocks is trading at all-time high back in 2021 obviously went to 46 but now you know at the weekly chart it really popped up on a daily chart as you see here this was uh the all-time high at 45 ish area and then for the really strong earning that they reported yesterday it was gapping up significantly so these are you know look at the volume 147 million so we had pretty much everything uh, for a very amazing trade so how the price action in the pre-market it's also very important to see how the price action is at the pre-market so you see we had the really nice consolidation in the pre-market we had the high of pre-market at around 48.80 and then it came down near the viva and that's what we want we don't want the stock to really open up here from the viva then that's a huge risk because the stocks usually tend to come down and uh, test the VWAP. So if the price was opening up here or here, then it would, you have a very big risk of uh, you know getting down to the VWAP. Stocks they really like to test the VWAP. So how was the price action at the open? So uh, how was the price action at the open? So you know really opened up right at the VWAP, sold down a little bit, came back up, you know get rejected to the VWAP, came down again to 46.80, and then suddenly with heavy volume, the you know volume started picking up, coming back right at the VWAP, and that is the moment that I started going long for a one minute opening range break up. So that was the moment that really started for a one minute opening range break up. I anticipated uh, one minute opening range break up. And of course, the five minute range you got added heavy on that. You pop up. These are usually the first resistances that you get, the moving averages, so partial, partial. And it came down, tested the moving average, came back up. As soon as it came back up, I uh, told myself that, okay, so this is a, a fairly strong uh, stock. And, you know, I have all the news to really for us uh, to pop up. So I added to my position here and then boom while i was doing that we had some very heavy serious seeing as asks showing up and this ask were signal for me to add and or hold longer so one of the uh, ads that i did i actually have um, here i have some pictures for you um so you know when i added here at 48 30 look at this you know the asks that we're seeing here at 48.50 so that was the one of the reasons that I actually added heavily that's the screenshot at 9.38 here you see 48.50 you see the huge ask these are very bullish sign you know these are very big sellers that's actually a very bullish sign it's very counterintuitive why these big sellers are bullish but you know because these uh, bulls really want to um, <clears throat> hit the big prices you can actually watch them with the uh, um so and again you know this is 941 few seconds after that boom you know we popped up above 4850 with heavy volume and now asks are actually stacking up at 49. so as you see here the asks are keep going higher and higher if the stocks are so uh if these uh, sellers they want to push the price down and they don't show themselves up there they just dump their shares into the bid and take liquidity out of the lead and push the price lower but 
you know, these are very bullish sign. And then here's another one, 948.58. And as you see here, that boom, we go through the 49 and it goes to 49 or 4, 49 or 6, 49 or 9 uh, is uh, the high of the day. And then we continued the uh, move higher. And then I added even one more uh, time on that. So, so we continued this after the add. <clears throat> uh i added one more time here so back in uh so as you see here let me uh so at 9 uh, 37 when i added we broke through 94 and then we came very close to 50. and of course 50 a very round number so i added more to my position because we saw a very big ask sitting at 50 and i came down came back up almost this 50 but i still didn't get uh, stopped out and then boom you know with this heavy volume at 10 or 9 you know, at uh, 10 or 9, you can see, boom, 50, 60, just continued, went higher. And then I actually cut out completely at 48, 80 because I just had uh, enough uh, profit. And uh, of course, um, you know, this kind of uh, stocks can do a 920 trade. So this is a 920 trade on two minute chart. As you see here, this is a very nice minute, nice um, 920 trade as well. But, you know, I was done. I had a meeting. I had to go. So, you know, I like to finish my day by 1030. But however, here for actually for the break of 50, a lot of people, you know, they want to see that real price action here for at uh, 50. I have the recording of showing this big ask and how these are so real. They're actually getting filled. So I'm going to show that to, uh, to you now this video. Oh, let's let me go uh, through the Tesla uh, and then uh, we'll go back. Uh, uh, play that video for you. So Tesla was uh, a you know very nice one minute to mid range breakout. Tesla was gapping up around two percent. You know closes a doji came down. This is a hammer doji obviously. Uh, came down, came back up. As soon as came back up, I went long, added a couple of times. I think these are different uh, fills that I got. Two forty nine. And as you see here, if I want to zoom out, uh, you know two forty nine, two fifty, two fifty one, two fifty two. Continue went higher all the way up to two fifty three twenty when I got out of the partial completely. So again, very proud of this trade as well. So essentially, one minute win range break up. You know, partial, partial. These are each ten percent partial. I didn't add, but I could add potentially to two fifty three. I think uh, this one continued went up to two forty five as well. This is the high of the day at two forty five. But again, at ten thirty, I was done with my trading. So as you see here, it just came back up. And uh, if I go to the five minute chart, as you see, yeah, it's still grinding up. So the markets are super strong today, Tesla and Nvidia. So on a daily chart, uh, uh, you know, as you see Tesla, Tesla really had a massive sell off in the last couple of days, but today was gapping up, you know, through this uh, range that he had. So, you know, that was a good candidate for essentially trading. A lot of uh, our traders have traded this on options, very good money. Like tomorrow we have a session with uh, Avi about options day trading at 10% uh, to your account a day. So we're looking into that. Now going back to uh, PLTR. So again, you know, I want to show. I want to have a recording for you at uh, so at around uh, so around this time at 9:56. I did the recording. I'm gonna cut the recording and show you and actually put a commentary for you on that. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel and let's watch the video of the breakout of PLTR. All right, guys, this is one of my uh, recordings that I actually want to. Uh, show you so you know uh, as you, as I mentioned that to you PLTR here you know we saw some huge asks on it when I added my uh, go backward a little bit so I started seeing the big big asks at 50 so that's why I decided to add my position and then it came back up you know the asks as you see here the number of the asks are just keep stacking higher and higher and higher so this is the column that you want to uh, really see into that um so oh, i'm gonna go. continue so uh, playing on that um, <clears throat> so as you see the asks are stacking up they usually these asks are getting hit and uh you know came up to almost test to 50 but came down and uh you know i continued the move i hold it through that and then you know I, these are these are my position that is showing in that time i had uh, 2200 shares at 4876 and i had a still tesla open position as well so now we continued going there so as again you know came very very close again you you look at the asks are stacking up at 49.95 49.97 50 we still have you know 100 uh, came up very close to it uh, here we go this is the one that i wanted to show you at 10 5 57 you see that we have uh, the arca book and nasdaq book and uh with psx we have these big asks are showing themselves again i want to show you here these are the ones that you know so it is, these are really really good signal for you to see what happens 
And then what happens here at actually um, really oh, they're very close. Look at that here again. MMEX, these are really bids that you can actually bet on that because you have only two cents away. So this is a really signal. You can actually look at it at level two or you can actually trade that uh, based on the book map because uh, book map is also kind of a historical one. So it comes very close to 50. Here in this pop, it doesn't happen. Oh, there you go. And then we, we are coming a little bit closer. Again, you know, this is a very nice screenshot that, uh, you know, uh, this is actually a video that I'm recording here. It's 50, look at these huge ones. And then boom, as you see, up to pop up to 30 cents. And a lot of time people are asking me, are they real uh, bid and asks that they're real? So because, you know, when you, we are having the time and sales, they see that these ones are actually going through the time and sales here. I'm actually bringing, showing it to you, the time and sales. Look at the time stamp, 1009. So, you know, this is these are the things that 50, 50, 10, 50, 4. These are really big orders that have gone through digital quantity, like 50,000, 500,000 shares at 50. You see that this is a 500,000 shares at 50 that, uh, as you see, it's going to happen. <laughs> so that's super, super, super nice uh, trading that... Uh, we did that that a lot of people in our community actually made money and just continue went higher and uh, even uh, we had this big ask at 50 50 as well again the round numbers are pretty good uh, that uh, you can see boom all the way and then that's the moment that i kind of uh, uh, ended my trading so thanks guys for watching really and if you like this video uh, we, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel we also have the a link here down there to you know trade live these are live in front of you every single day or you can join the community for one dollar and watch me live see my screen and everything thanks guys for watching and uh, all the best uh see you tomorrow in the chat and election guys today's election day you know by the time that you see this video the election result might be out already but uh market is definitely liking whatever is happening in the u.s